in GMU history to compete at the International Championship of Collegiate Acapella, or ICCA. And in 2019, they became the first to advance to the semifinal round, claiming a total of eight ICCA awards in their first three years of competition. MSN is also working on their first album. Everyone, please give it up for MSN. Um, we are so excited to perform for you guys. Um, we have about 12 members and we will be singing Into You and Bad Idea by Ariana Grande. Wishing you would come and save me Cause I don't wanna go with this I'm trying to get control of it Why 
can I let go of it? Yeah. I gotta find somebody quickly. I got a bad idea. How about we take a little bit of time away? I got a bad idea. Get about it, yeah. Get about it, yeah. Get about it. Yeah, I know we shouldn't, baby, but we will. Need somebody, give me something I can feel. Know this isn't real. You should know I'm temporary. Cause I don't wanna go with it. Try to get control of it. Why can't I let go of it? Gotta find somebody quickly. Oh, I got a bad idea. How about we take a little bit of time away? I got a bad Facebook and Instagram if you want to follow us. Thank you. <laughs> Give it up one more time for MSN. Max, don't you think those songs were Aka awesome? I think that pun was aka awkward. <laughs> Anyways, let's wrap this up with our next performer, rapper Cody Selenga or Stefan Cody. Cody Selenga is a Filipino rapper slash singer that grew up in Virginia, USA. His music is all clean through the Christian values that his parents instilled in him at a young age. His first song ever was released on YouTube April 29th, 2018, titled That's Just Life. His first ever live performance was on March 22nd, 2019 at his high school talent show. He's performed countless times after that point, but most notably back in April when he and his friend Zane opened for Dominic Fike during Mason Day 2022. Give it up for Cody, Stefan Cody Zanga. Yeah. All right. Everyone put your hands up. When I stomp my feet, y'all clap. You know I'm back, like I never left. Another sprint, another step. Another day, another breath. Been chasing dreams like I never slept. I got a new attitude and at least I left some peace of mind. Sleep when I fight, sleep when I die. Peace in the pie, keys to the right. And man, I'm straight. I'm on my way. I'm on my way, get out my way. I'm running late, 
What can I say? I heard you died twice. Once when they bury you in the grave. And the second time's the last time somebody mentioned your name. When I leave here in this earth, did I take more than I gave? Did I look out for the people? Did I do it all for fame? Legend is Exodus, searching for euphoria, trudging through the mud, I'm trying to present and ignore it. I got 20,000 deep up in the street like we some warriors. My mama told me never bow your head. Yeah, you know I'm glorious. Yeah, the curb looking victorious. You know that we've been going it. Like we have to bend in glory. On guard, things are just things. They don't make you who you are. Can't pack up how you haul it in you when you when you're gone. You would pour it in the porcelain and glasses to the stars. My family getting there and me that oh that boy got bars. Okay, okay, yes I do. I said it, man, and hallelujah. Let me testify too. Another morning, a morning to myself getting the way I got my breath, I got my faith, and I remember why I came. Got a chance. Come on, sing it if you know it. Born for this. I made it to the I feel glorious. I feel we gonna be all right. And I ain't in my eyes. We stand in a flight. The world is not. I said we gonna be all right. When I open my eyes, we plan in our flight. Come on, sing it if you know it. Come on, let's go. I feel got a chance. Come on, I want y'all to sing. Let's go. Born for this. That's who I am. I made it through the darkest part of the night. See the sunrise. Glorious, glorious. Thank y'all so much. Um, shout out to my friend Diksha. She's the one who sang the, the chorus for that song. Um, and yeah, I hope y'all have a great rest of the night. So many great acts. Mason 2022, let's go. Let's give it up one more time for Steph Cody. Max, I think that act was really inspiring. It kind of makes me want to change my major so I can study rappers. Yeah, I feel the same way. I think we could be Cardi Biologist. You're right. <laughs> up next, we have Pintas. Pintas is an international student from Bolivia coming to Mason to be a music pro producer slash artist. He has original music, on music streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music. Give it up. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Give me one more second. I'm gonna just connect something. Perfect, now we're ready to go. ¿Dónde está mi gente latina? Por favor, quiero que aplauden mi gente latina. Hay latinos acá, por favor, den unos aplausos. Oh, come on, somos tan pocos? Is it just us? Man, that's okay. That's okay. Everybody give me applause for George Mason University. Come on. Come on. I want to hear this. All right. That's good. That's good. All right. I hope you guys like this. Thank you. 
Déjame te cuento hasta tres Te pongo el mundo al revés No tienes mucho que enviar Tienes la mirada que te hace olvidar Y aparte quítale tres Te hacen volver enviciándote Ese mensaje de lata Amarillo que mata Verde mulata De eso se trata Fiera la gata Ese mensaje de lata Mulata, de eso se trata, tira la gata con él. Casa, recompensa, mírame si me qué pensas Casa, no contesta, bailando dice que está tensa Atrápame si puedes, bailame tú quieres Dime que tú eres la razón por qué me siento más fuerte Atrápame si puedes, bailame tú quieres Dime que tú eres la razón por qué me siento más fuerte ¿Qué está pasando? ¿Qué está pasando? ¿Qué está pasando? ¿Qué está pasando? Birthday soon, birthday soon, birthday Quítatelo, quítatelo, Thank you. For this next song that I'm going to be performing, um, how many of you guys know who Bad Bunny is? Raise your hands. Okay, okay, okay. Did anybody of you guys go to the concert, his concert in DC? No? Dang, okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm here. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. For this next song, I'm going to be performing a song called Un Coco by Bad Bunny. Soy medad entera Tírale radio palmas si sale sin bandera No puedo escuchar canciones de romance Y me cansé que de pensar en ti no me canse El último pétalo me dijo que aún hay chance No sé si es verdad pero si va a volver avance Por favor, 
Antes de que me vaya, antes que salga el sol Que en la mañana coge alegría buscando otro olor Tanto trofeo y aún me siento perdedor Perdedor, búscame el encendedor Ey, que si no te olvido Me voy a mudar pa' Chile Pa' Argentina o pa' El Salvador Pero denme en el like, te dije por favor por favor, y antes que te pili se apague, yo te voy a olvidar, um, yeah. yo te voy a olvidar, ya. Yeah. y antes que te pili se apague, yo te voy a olvidar, um, yeah. yo te voy a olvidar, ya. Le pedí socorro, escribo tu nombre en la arena, a veces si lo borro, pero tus labios y tus ojos lo tengo de oro. No sale de mi cabeza, y otro fili y otra cerveza. Ya tus recuerdos me pesan, te disfrazaste de rubí, era Teresa, pero soy un pendejo y todavía me interesa. Ay. Yeah. Saber de tu paradero Y preguntarte si fue verdadero O si esta bola como avión Y yo fui pasajero ¿Qué cojones todavía yo te quiero? Ey, ey. Pues los muchachos dicen que ya estoy charreando ey. Pero en bajita seguimos quemando Y antes que te fili se apague Yo te voy a olvidar, um, yeah. yo te voy a olvidar ya yeah. Y antes que te fili se apague Yo te voy a olvidar, um, yeah. yo te voy a olvidar ya yeah. Y antes que te fili se apague Yo te voy a olvidar, um, yeah. yo te voy a olvidar ya yeah. Y antes que te fili se apague Yo te voy a olvidar, um, yeah. yo te voy a olvidar ya yeah. Gracias, gracias. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I hope you, it continues to be that way. Love you guys so much. All right, let's move it, move it on to our next act. Yeah, our next act is Gabriela. Gabriela Barboska. She is a Ukrainian and European champion in dance sport from the Ukraine. Give it up to Gabriela, y'all. Es tu bula toda la noche, das tu bula, molota senca, tu bona sila, tu tu bona fala, simli na mi vas, bobo ti na mala. When strangers are coming, they come to your house, they kill you all and say, burn your gift, a gift. 
Where is your mind? Humanity cries. You think you are gods, but everyone dies. Don't swallow my soul. Our souls. Батьківщина, велике легке крило. Моє ім'я Україна, і сонечка тепло. Моє ім'я вишиванка, я хрестить на полотні. Моє ім'я синє небо, і соня хмали білі. Up next, we have Lexi Carter. Lexi Carter is a current sophomore majoring in musical theater at George Mason University. She performed at this event last year and is back again, and she hopes you all enjoy this performance. Give it up for Lexi. Hello, hello everyone. How are y'all doing today? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Um, So I'll be singing one of a song that I wrote. It's an original song of mine and it's called Front Door. Hope y'all enjoy. So I'll take my shoes off at the front door. Cause I can't take this anymore. I 
I'll take my shoes off at the front door Cause it's the right way It's a polite way To say goodbye to these old memories Goodbye to these past two years Goodbye to what we had And I'll hold it close, my dear I don't know if I can go back to you Or even say I Love you. Oh, so I'll take my shoes off at the front door. Cause I can't say this anymore. Oh, oh. I won't take my shoes off at the front door. Cause it's the right way, it's the polite way. Now I know what's right for me. That's why I wrote this song You can't tear me down Cause my feet are on the ground I'll take my shoes off at the front door Cause I can't take this anymore Oh, I'll take my shoes off at the front door It's the right way It's a polite way to say Thank you. Time for Lexi. Y'all, we just have so much talent tonight, don't we? You know, with all this talent, Meg, I really wish you had some sort of hidden or secret talent. Well, actually, my talents are so hidden, you'll never find them. Speaking of disappearing, our next act is a magician. Yep, I hope y'all are ready for Ryan Phillips. He is a professional musician, magician, actor, and magic consultant. He is the resident magician at the historic Mayflower Hotel in downtown Washington, D.C., with his show, The Magic Duel. Currently, he is in the Tempest, he's in rehearsals for The Tempest at Roundhouse Theater, serving as the magic coordinator with Teller of Penn and Teller fame. Despite what you may think, he did not study at Hogwarts, but is in fact a Mason alumni. So please welcome back Ryan Phillips.
professional magician. <laughs> you know, thank you. It fills me with great pride to make that statement. However, I am not naive, okay? I know that the word magician can carry with it certain stereotypes and preconceived ideas. And to be completely honest, not all of them are always positive, right? A quick show of hands. Who here, when you hear the word magician, pictures a performer from over 100 years ago, sporting a formal tuxedo, maybe pulling rabbits out of top hats? Yeah, that's the kind of iconic image. I find this character quite charming, but a little outdated for today's standards. On the other end of the spectrum, you have the antisocial dork hmm, who sits at the back of the class practicing tricks to himself. Later in life, grows up to twist balloon animals at the children's parties. I don't find either of these images rather flattering. Although, given the choice, I would much rather be an anachronism than a loser. <laughs> A magician friend of mine, Max Maven, once said that the tragedy of magic of the 21st century is we've taken an art form which is inherently profound and have managed to render it trivial. Hmm. I'd like to try and change that for you this evening. For the small but very influential group of people, what you think of when you hear the word magician. You don't just think of old timey or balloon animals, but you think of something that is endlessly fascinating, sparks wonder and curiosity. You know, magic is unlike any of the other performing arts. It does incorporate, you know, theater, music, sometimes dance, um, but also a little less obvious engineering, design, psychology, mathematics. These are all things I love. And my goal tonight is at the end of this performance, I, I hope that you leave this theater tonight kind of with a different interpretation and that magic is worthwhile. So without any further ado, let's begin. Um, I'll never forget the first time I saw someone perform sleight of hand. You know, I'd say it was love at first sight, but honestly, I fell in love with everything you couldn't see and I had to learn. So I started with the basics. How do you learn to hold a deck of cards properly? And then I read it would take eight years to learn how to hold a deck of cards properly, eight years. And then which grip are you gonna to learn to hold them in? Mechanics grip, straddle grip, box grip, dealer's grip? I couldn't decide, so I learned them all. I taught myself the shuffles. You know, you start by taking one, then another, another. Eventually you can speed up. You know, start throwing as many as you'd like. I learned the variations on these. I learned all the cuts this way, that way. I learned to cut them one-handed. Uh, I even learned how to riffle shuffle using my leg. Oh. Eventually you don't need the leg. You know, and I always throw in a bridge because I wanted people to know I was practicing, right? Uh, and then you start to go down the rabbit hole and you start to throw in all those flourishes, right? Uh, you know, the uh, you're springing the cards. Ooh, oh yeah, should I do it again? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, everyone loves that. That's why they know you're a professional, right? Um, but then you start to question that and you think, well, maybe they'd like a waterfall more. That's just a little bit, something extra, a little more elegant. Same thing with a fan. Uh, you, you learn a fan, that's nice, right? But then you learn a thumb fan. Ooh, it's got a little something more nuanced, right? Um, and of course, once you learn the fan, <laughs> what's better than a fan? I know, two fans. Once you learn that, it's mandatory. You get this headshot. And I loved it. I loved all of it. I loved sharing it with other people. And then it was like, the more I shared it with others, the more disillusioned I became about it. And, and I didn't understand that. But then I met someone who could. Hello. Yes, you. Um, sound, is it all right if I go down the stay? Actually, just can you stand up for me? Uh, may I ask your name? Kristen? Christine, Christine, can you come forward? Uh, I'm gonna have you select a card. Actually, you know, some people can be a bit picky about which card they choose, not you, just in general. Um, and I'm going to have several people select cards. So to speed this up and make this a random procedure, Christy, as I uh, dribble the cards like so, whenever you want, whenever you get a feeling, just say stop, okay? Um, I'm going to need 10 people for this. So Christy, and if we can go around, this, can, ma'am, can you stand up? And sir, and uh, this person there, and well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll jump over here, eight. 
Um, you're a little bit too eager. I might come back to you later. Um, we'll do nine and 10 with the glasses on top. If you could all stand up and just make a, a line right at the front of the, uh, the stage, please. I promise I'll get back to you. Um, Christy, if you don't mind making your way to this side at the very end of the line. Hello. Hi, guys. Oh, and you all have name badges, which is going to be very helpful in a moment. Okay, Christy, whenever you'd like, just say stop. So soon. Are you happy here? Do you want to keep going? It's up to you. Very well. Take the card. Don't look at it quite yet. Uh, so you can take the card. Thank you, my dear. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, take it, please. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hello. Okay. Um, please take, I think that's 10, right? That should be 10. Um, I'm going to turn around. Please take a peek at your card. Um, you can show it above your head in case other people around are curious and want to see. Very important, though, um, please do not forget your card. Otherwise, this is a spectacular waste of everyone's time. Okay. When you're confident you can remember both the suit and the value, um, please hold the card face down between your hands. Let me know when you've done that. Thank you. I heard some slapping, some clearing of the throat. Thank you. Uh, sir, slip it back for me. Um, we'll do it right there, please. Thank you. Hi. Right in the middle is fine. Thank you. You could put yours towards the top, towards the middle, towards the bottom. It really doesn't matter to me. You're just putting it right on. That's fine. Thank you. <laughs> uh, sir, if you could. Ooh, towards the, what's that, 28 cards? Thank you. Um, actually, you can take the cards yourself and, and give them a little mix. Shuffle them up, please. Um, I know I'm not even touching the cards. This is crazy. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Um, pass the deck along. Uh, keep putting your cards in and, and pass the deck along as you do that, please. It's not magic. I'm just going to clean this. Um, actually, do you mind? Do you mind? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, nice and clean, please. Have you, have you finished? Shuffle those cards uh, to your heart's content. Really do mix them up. Um, I also need maybe someone from this table. I have with me. Ah, oh, um, yeah, dude, you have a very simple task. You don't even have to come up on stage. Um, I have with me a little pack it for you. There's an envelope, a paper clip, and a blank card. I also have this elegant pen. Please don't lose it. It is expensive. Um, I want you to just write, you can go back to the table, write down any three digit number and then pass the card along. We'll get like four or five people to write down three digit numbers. It could be whatever you'd like. Don't repeat any of the other numbers that come before it. Please do that for me. Thank you. Uh, Christy, where are you? Are, have you finished shuffling? Wonderful. Are you satisfied that those cards are well mixed? You don't sound too confident. Give them one last shuffle. That's fantastic. Thank you. Uh, keep polishing, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, that should be fine. Thank you. And what is your name? Ted. 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 Let's give it up for Ted. Thank you, Ted. Okay. I will attempt to find each and every one of these cards, starting with Christy, down the line, in order, each one in a more interesting, more difficult way, climacting to a crescendo of impossibility. Shall we go for it? All right. Uh, Christy, just to make it more difficult for me, more interesting for you, I will find your card with just one hand. Christy, please name your card out loud. Gonna phone a friend. Okay. What was your card? The four of clubs. Sure. 
the four of clubs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One down, nine to go. You may have a seat. Thank you, Christy. Uh, sir, please name your card. The deuce of hearts, the two of hearts. Bingo. The two of hearts. Thank you, sir. My dear. Um, hmm. Would I be correct in saying you also chose a, uh, a red card? Ooh. But it wasn't a heart, was it? it was, was it a diamond? Uh, what was your card? Seven. The seven of diamonds is exactly um, 28 cards from the top. Yeah, that should be 27. That should be the 28th card, the seven of diamonds. Thank you. You may have a seat. I don't want you to say your card. I just want you to think it. Think of your card. You look at me. Thanks. One card flies oh, out of the deck. The Joker. No, well, technically the Joker is a wild card. It can be any card. Um, <laughs> you're not buying that, are you? No, no, no. Um, let's see. Um, what was your card? The three of clubs? All right. It transforms into the three clubs. Thank you. All right, we got to speed this up. Um, I believe your card is actually already uh, gone from the deck, and I think it actually appears inside my my pocket. You just have the four hearts. Is that correct? Wonderful. You may have a seat. Thank you. Now, some people think that maybe the card is already controlled to the top, the king of spades. Is that your card? Or on the bottom, the uh, jack of spades, is that your card? I'll tell you what, go through the deck. Make sure I didn't secretly sneak it out. Make sure it really is still in there. Should be. Yes. It is. Okay, very. Um, seal the cards inside the box. Close it up tight. This is to prevent me from doing any kind of sleight of hand or manipulation. Yep, make sure they're all in there and then close the flap and tuck it inside, make sure it's sealed. Thank you. I will now blindfold the deck. Does anyone have a deck of cards blindfold? My pocket. <laughs> Name your card. Now? The six of diamonds, there you go. You may have a seat, thanks. Uh, okay, we gotta speed this up. Um, sir, uh, he, he literally went through these, he shuffled these cards. What was your card? Ace of spades. The ace of spades, I just shake. And actually one card will reveal itself to me. It will reverse in the opposite direction. Uh, and of course it is the ace of spades. It has to be, yes, thank you. You may have a seat. All right, we got three left. We got three left. I'm gonna, we're short on time. I'm gonna have to go all three at once. On the count of three, I want you to all name your card simultaneously as loud as you possibly can. Ready? One, two, three. Your five of hearts. Yes. The queen and the, the nine. All 10 cards from a shovel deck. Yes. Thank you. That was just the warm up. Now we can move on to the really good stuff. Yes, it's time. It's time. What is your name? Juliana? Juliana, can you stand up, please? Juliana, um, I need two people to help for this thing. And, and you're going to be the first person. Um, but you get to choose the other person to come up on stage with you. Now, Juliana, you can just point to the person you came with tonight, or you can turn around and look amongst the sea of strangers. 
you could find someone who you think has an interesting outfit. Uh, maybe they have a really pleasant smile. Um, and you could choose someone totally at random and make a once in a lifetime connection with a stranger, something we've been lacking for the last three years. I saw, you're just gonna go with uh... oh, double points. Who is that? Who is that? What's your name? Nicole. <laughs> and remind your name, Juliana. Let's give Nicole and Juliana a big round of applause as they head up on stage. Right this way, right this way. Come up here. Hi, Juliana. Hi. And Nicole, hi, follow me, follow me, follow me. Okay. Glad we did this after the dancer. <laughs> um, Juliana, can you stand to my left? Thank you, and Nicole, pleasure. I propose a question to you both. What would you call two pieces of fabric, one laid on top of the other and stitched or sewn together on three sides with an opening on the fourth? A scarf, interesting guess. A wallet, mm, it's actually uh, just a bag. Okay, the questions get easier as we go along. Um, this is my bag, I made it during the lockdown. It is kind of crude, but I do want you to examine. Uh, Nicole, just make sure it's stitched on one, one side there. You can touch it if you'd like. It's a running hem stitch if you're familiar with that. Uh, and two, Thank you. and three sides, fabulous. Um, and uh, Juliana, reach inside, pull the bag inside out, and examine the stitching on the inside of the bag as well. Please make sure it's stitched on one, mm -hmm, and two, mm -hmm, very thorough, and three. Very good. We have to get that out of the way to start. Julianne, is Juliana? Julianne. Juliana, with your right hand, grip the left corner of the bag. Nicole? With your right, uh, left, uh, just hold the bag. Thank you. And stare straight and smile. You're in show business. Uh, quick show of hands. Who here ate a big breakfast this morning? A couple people. Everyone else skipping the most important meal of the day. I saw a hand raised. May I ask what you ate? I like the distinction between the big waffle and the little sausage. That's good. I saw another hand raised over here. Yes. Cheese sauce and burrito. Uh, what was in that breakfast burrito? Okay. If you could both take one step up, please. Thank you. Hold tight. I'm gonna go for the burrito tonight. Uh, that might be a little too greasy. Oh, we'll go with the eggs, if that's all right. It's magic. Be honest, Juliana, did you feel anything? Not really. Well, besides uncomfortable. Juliana, hold very tight. Nicole, you may let go. That is an egg, the creation of life itself. Apparently not that big of a deal, but um, Nicole, to a chicken, this is family. Mm -hmm. Juliana, you said, I want to feel it. That's the thing. Everyone assumes that whatever you pull out here, it can't be a real egg. It must be a fake rubber foam magic egg. Mm -mm. I prove it's real. Juliana, give it a gentle, I mean gentle, squeeze. Make sure it's solid. Don't break it. It's a solid egg, yes? It doesn't fold, doesn't collapse. You may let go. Can you throw it? No. That's a different show. Nicole, solid egg fresh from the market. Mm. We're gonna do the same trick again, but this time backwards, okay? And I don't mean turn around, I mean in reverse. Um, the egg shall disappear. Now, Nicole, my hand is going into the bag to place the egg on my palm. Can you just gently feel, it really is in there. Gently feel, gently feel. Still in there, yes? Yes, very good. Watch close, one.
Thank you very much. It's just a little bag. You can turn it inside out or outside, and that egg is gone. Nicole, show your hand empty. Reach into the bottom of the bag. Pull the inside out bag outside in. Thank you. Did you feel anything in there? Juliana, stick your face inside. Do you see anything in there? No. In order to make it reappear, I have to perform what we call in the business the magic gesture. You show your hand empty, you reach into the bottom of the bag and pull out the egg to thunderous supply. Pardon me? Pardon? Juliana, I don't know if you've heard that. Someone towards the back, they leaned over and said it went up his sleeve. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, to prove it does not go up the sleeve, I will do this one final time under test conditions. First of all, I shall roll up my sleeves. Uh, and as an extra layer of precaution, can you grip my wrist? Good grip, Nicole. Hold my wrist, thank you. And keep tight, thank you. We are now connected. If anything tries to go up, down, in, or out, you will be the ones to feel it first. And I want you to call me out on it if you feel anything. I know you will. <laughs> Nicole, my hand is going into the bag to place the egg on my palm, but because we're connected, you're coming in with me. With your free hand, make sure it's still in there. Whatever happens, do not let go of my wrists. I mean it. In order for it to reappear, we, together, must perform the magic gesture with some encouragement from the audience. Here we go. Here we go. Juliana, show your hand empty. Reach into the bottom of the bag and pull out that egg to thunderous applause. Let's keep it going for my two volunteers, Juliana and Nicole, you were fabulous. Thank you so much. But how, how, how are we, um, hold on. How are we doing on time? Do we have time for one more? Yeah, uh, thanks. It's, 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 time for one more um I, i'll give you three options you can either see the oldest trick in the world oh have those numbers been sorry i forgot oh, those numbers been written down um can someone add them up with your calculator and, and total them and someone can check the math um i will either show you the oldest trick in the world dates back to the ancient egyptians uh, I can show you a classic of magic, one of my favorite tricks, or I can show you a trick I've never done for anyone live before. Yeah? Okay, um, and for that, we just, we, we actually do need these numbers. So uh, please uh, finish the total when you've got it. Um, have, have, you, have you totaled those numbers? Wonderful. Uh, and do you mind helping? If you could um, come up on stage. And what is your name? Let's give Jason a big round of applause as he bravely makes his way up here. Uh, Jason, um, just drop that packet in the, in the bag. I don't wanna see it. Um, thank you. You have that total, is that correct? It's probably a four or five digit number, is that correct? A four digit number, okay. Um, I brought with me a copy of uh, William Shakespeare's complete works, uh, including his sonnets. Um, there's over, I think, uh, yeah, over 600 and over 724 pages. And I'm assuming that's a larger number than, a smaller number than what we have. Um, can you remember that number? Put the phone away. Thank you. I will hand you this. Sorry. I remember the number. Um, the first three digits of that random number will correlate to a page number in that book. 
Uh, you can come closer, come closer. <laughs> uh, open it up and please flip to that page. You got it? Wonderful. Um, I also, uh, uh, there's two columns per page. Is that correct? Um, what, what page number are you on? Uh, 260. 261. 261 is probably, um, it's definitely, it, it's in the, towards the front of the book. That's going to be the, uh, the, the tragedies. Is it Romeo and Juliet? Is that the play? Yeah, yeah, Romeo and Juliet. I thought so. Um, all right, all right, uh, that's good. We can work with that. Um, uh, 261, uh, either column, it doesn't matter which column, um, just remember the first word on the page of either column. Remember that. Have you got it? Got it. Please close the book uh, and you can set it on the table. I have some props that I'd like you to examine as well. Um, the first picture of these. Morgan silver dollar coins. These are minted from the 1800s. They are antique, please don't lose them, um, but I would like you to examine them. Make sure that they are just what they appear to be. There's no hole drilled in the center. There's no rubber band around the edge. It doesn't fold, it doesn't collapse. Uh, they're solid coins, yes? Wonderful. I also have a uh, piece of duct tape. Place one of the coins, you can come close. It doesn't matter which one, uh, in the center of the tape. Thank you. And same thing with the other one. Your name, Jason. Jason, it is important, crucial, that you follow my directions exactly so that nobody gets hurt. At a 45 degree angle, I'd like you to lay that piece of tape diagonally across my face so that the coin is in the dead center of my eyeball. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Same thing with the other one. Um, please make sure that coin really does go on the eye. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You have a very gentle touch. I appreciate that. Um, I have one final piece of tape, Jason. Um, can you lay this horizontally where my eyes used to be? Oh, it's appreciated. Um, now, Jason, are you confident that I can't possibly see through these coins, through these tape? Okay. But there are some skeptics out here, Jason. I can feel it. So I brought uh, one final layer to keep everything together. Is this not the strangest thing you've done all week? Yeah, imagine practicing this in quarantine for six months. They finally let me out of the house. Jason, if you look next to you, you'll see an elegant chair and two large blackboards. If you hand one to me, I will trade you with this piece of chalk. Pick up the other board for yourself and have a seat in the chair. And please let me know when you've done that. Wonderful. Um, think back to moments ago when you looked at that word on that page. Jason, does this word, Shakespeare does tend to use kind of flowery language. Uh, first of all, do you know what that word means? Yes. Good. Um, second, is it a small word like the and but thou? Okay, good. Um, is it possible for you to take that word and turn it into a, a picture? Illustrate it somehow. You can? <laughs> no one's going to judge you. Jason, I'd like you to begin to draw whatever this conjures in your mind. Uh, do it nice and big, but do it privately so that no one can see. I'm getting some impressions. Jason, I'd like you to answer honestly, yes or no. This is a man-made object. Uh, no. Uh, sorry, not out loud, just in your mind, please. Thank you, yeah. Mind reading, um, thank you. 
not a man-made object. Okay, okay. Um, um, something found in nature, the natural world. Also kind of. All right, let's try a different tactic. Um, imagine if you could, that you could hold this thing physically three-dimensionally in your hand. And I want you to psychically send me the vibrations of what it would be like to hold this thing. You're having difficulty doing that, aren't you? Yeah, I, I don't know what that means. Um, uh, is this the Blackboard side? Thank you. Tonight, I will attempt, before a live audience, something I've never done before, attempt to read Jason's mind and discover what he has drawn for us this evening and to duplicate exactly, more or less, almost kind of, sort of, what he has decided to draw for us this evening. Keep in mind, I am blindfolded, so this might come out a little abstract. Oh, you've added a detail towards the top. I don't know what that means. Oh, and there's, the, oh, oh. Oh, geez, all right. Stand up for me, Jason. It's now time for everyone's favorite part. Did you say just rip it like a Band-Aid? They're sick. Oh, you're still here. Oh, uh, Jason, on the count of three, we are gonna flip this around. If this is even kind of, we had one last detail. This is kind of close to a match. I want you guys to go crazy. Are you ready? One, two, three. There, there were two columns on that page, yes? Uh, uh, um, what, what page was it? 261. 261. 261. First page, oh, is... His lover, his lover, oh. In the second, that doesn't even mean anything. Um, well, as I said, this is a, this is a new trick for me. Um, definitely requires more practice, but let's give it a hand for Jason, our artist this evening. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, do I have time for one more redemption? Okay, um, this is my favorite trick in the world. Uh, it, it, it's, um, it's a classic, just like music, art, and literature, magic has its own classics, and this is one of them. It's known as the Chinese linking rings. And obviously the idea is you have um, six separate solid steel rings, and to pass one through the other. No. Now, traditionally, when you learn this illusion, um, you always start with two rings, right? That's kind of the beginner's method. As you get better and better, the more you practice, you can move on to three rings, which, uh, Jason, as you know, is twice as difficult because you have to link them two times. But to make it more difficult, I shall link them two times in midair with a time limit of one 
second. Shall we go for it? Can you stand up? Can you come here? Everyone thinks they know how this trick is done, which means normally you're not allowed to hand these out to someone to inspect, but I'm going to do just, don't put hold on to the top. That I'm going to let you examine those rings. Make sure that they are solidly linked together. There's no holes, no gaps, no protrusions. Christy, check that out. Examine that. Make sure it's a solid steel ring. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are those solidly linked together? No magnets, no threads, no glue, no mirrors, no. Uh, three plus one equals? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'd be surprised at how many people get that wrong. A solid ring, Christy? Thank you. The Olympics. Last but not least, my dear, is that a solid steel ring? <laughs> Thank you. You may have a seat. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is five rings linked on one ring, a feat which is Technically impossible. <laughs> now for the hard part, to take them apart. In fact, we can all count off together. Uh, this is ring number five, but good guess, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, ring number, mm -hmm. just a blow. Thank you very much. My name is Brian Phillips. Have a great evening. stand-up comedian, actually. <laughs> I was waiting for my debut. This is it. Um, so give another round of applause for our amazing performers this evening. Yes. I, I don't know how they do it with these like lights. I can't see anything um, in front of these lights. I'm going to eat it. I swear. I know it. Um, I hope you all enjoyed your evening. I want to give one round of applause for our amazing hosts, Max and Megan. Yes. How was day number two, family weekend? Round of applause for family weekend, yes. Great. For those who don't know who I am, my name is Dalen Orlick. I'm the assistant director of family programs here at Mason. So myself and my team have helped coordinate and plan this entire weekend for you. So I hope you're enjoying it. Oh, thank you, thank you. Put those applause in the survey that we sent you. Um, so I have a few announcements. Okay. Announcement number one, for Mason by Moonlight. If you have pre-registered for this event, you should have received an email from families at gmu.edu indicating what time you are to do Mason by Moonlight. I want to explain in person why we are doing that. So our observatory and our planetarium can only fit 15 people every 20 minutes. We want to try to get through as many people as possible. 
So we've had to split up the 700 of you that registered for the event <laughs> to make sure you're not here until two in the morning into two different groups. All right, so that's number one. So before I dismiss you all, if you are a part of the seven o'clock group, you will leave with our incredible hosts, Max and Megan. The reason why we had them host is so you know exactly who they are. Um, and so you can leave with them when I dismiss you. If you are a part of the 830, you will not be able to get into the seven o'clock as much as I wish I could. I will see you at 830 with your bright and smiling face to let you in to all of the things tonight. For those who did not pre-register for Mason by Moonlight, as you heard, we have a lot of people that are trying to fit their way into a tiny room. I unfortunately cannot allow a wait list for this event. It's okay. We'll take care of you other ways. You can still wander around campus. If you want to come and get a glass of wine, that's cool. I just can't get you through all the buildings, and we got to make sure that as many people as possible can. So I cannot take a wait list. I apologize in advance for that. Um, but tomorrow for our bus tours, you can still sign up for a bu bus tour and do a wait list for that. I don't know if you all knew that today, but we had plenty of spaces on our buses this morning for you to go on some tours if you wanted to. So tomorrow, if you have an interest in doing a hike and seeing the beautiful fall leaves through Great Falls um, or joining our DC Segway tour, we will have a wait list for that. Additionally, we will have a wait list for breakfast and bingo, where we will be giving away tons of prizes and goodies and food and all of that stuff. So make sure, as you know, half of you were on the wait list tonight. So you never know what you're going to get. So who knows? So come tomorrow. How does that sound? Does that sound good? Great. I appreciate you um, and all of that you've done for us and for being here. So with that, if you are a part of my seven o'clock group for Mason by Moonlight, you can now leave with Max and Megan. They will lead you over there. If you are not, I will either see you later or I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning with the Gucci bags under my eyes. All right? Cool. Great. Enjoy the rest of your night, y'all. If you have any questions, I'll be out in the lobby to help. Um, but enjoy. I hope you enjoyed dinner. Um, and again, thank you so much for coming to Mason's Got Talent. Yeah, we're all set. Killed it. <laughs> um, I have a live recording of all of it that I can send to you. Yeah. I don't know if you have a website or anything like that, but yep. Uh -huh. uh. Thank you.